welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. You read Chris Loves Lux. And today we're going to explore my fragrance travel collection. So this is my travel size collection, not to be confused with any uh, fragrances that I decanted on my own. Those are not in this particular video. If you want to see that though, leave me a message down in the comments so that I know that and then I will do a video just on the fragrances that I decanted. I can even show you how I decant my fragrances. But this is about things that I actually bought um, either through my subscription with Royalty Scents or I just bought it. So with all that being said, I'm not trying to make this super duper long because there are a lot of them. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. My name is Chris. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday and Fridays are makeup related most of the time. And Wednesdays are where my dedicated uh, day to fragrance. With all that being said, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And don't forget to like and comment on this video. Okay, let's get into it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is... I'm looking around. Let's talk about the the things that I got uh, I I've gotten thus far from Royalty Scents. Understand, y'all, they are not sponsoring this video, but if they want to, holla at me. Um, we're not doing a collab, but if you want to, those are Royalty Scents, holla at me. But I am a member of their subscription service for the last one, two, three, four, five, six months. I had to add in order for me to figure it out. Um, so I want to go over what I got from there and then we'll go into actually other things that I actually purchased. All right. Um, all right. So this was the very first scent, if I'm not mistaken, it was that I purchased from Royalty Scents or, or ordered from Royalty Scents. And this is Tom Ford's Rose Prick. I wanted to purchase this first or try it out first in this 10 mil, I think it's 10 or 8 mils bottle before I actually commit to a large size. I actually love this scent. So I went ahead and got a larger bottle and this one is just one that I have when I need to touch up because it's not a powerhouse. It's not gonna last me eight, nine, 10 hours. So um, if I'm out for long periods of time, I, will, I would need to take this to touch up. But this one is Tom Ford Rose Prick. Um, then I got this one, which also turned into a full bottle worthy, um, scent. This one is Feb Delicios by Maison Christian, uh, Dior. I purchased this one or ordered this one, um, so that, I love the color of that, light, light, light color juice, but, um, I purchased this to try it out before I committed to a $250 bottle, y'all, to be quite honest. And I loved it enough to actually buy the bigger bottle. But in that one, I don't really have to touch up. I mean, if you're going to be gone for like 14 hours or something like that, because, you know, when I'm in the office, my days can get that long. That's a little different. But a normal day out in eight hours, I don't really find a need to touch up on this. I don't. I, it's not something I wear in the in the summer though. This is for me a fall scent, fall and winter, maybe even the springtime when it's a little cooler. But for right now, this is a little too much for me. It does work well when you mix it with lost cherry though by Tom Ford. But anyway, um, let me let me keep going. Okay, the next one that I purchased, I'm trying to see which one I purchased next. Try to go in order, was Tenziana Terenzi's Kirk. I wanted to try this. I already have three Tenziana Terenzi fragrances. They are not cheap. So I wanted to make sure that I'm not doing blind buys, that I'm actually taking the time to try them out. So I did try Kurt out. I like it. It's strong. It is a powerhouse, but all Tenziana Terenzi's are. And it does have that DNA from Tenziana Terenzi. But I have this one. I like having this size. Will I buy a big one? Maybe from one of the discount sites I will because I think on one of them it may be about a, a $200, maybe $150, something like that. I can't remember. But I would buy it at that price, maybe. I've been still contemplating it. Okay, so it's not a love love for me. Next up was Diptyque's Dosun. 
this is a heavy tuberose scent you guys you guys know i love tuberose now this is a heavy tuberose scent the reason i didn't get a big bottle is because i love tuberose and i have so many tuberose fragrances this does kind of remind me slightly of gucci bloom which you guys know i love right so i um it actually also reminds me of Geo by Armani. It's discontinued. I have a very small sample for nostalgia purposes, but I wore it for like 10 years, right? Um, it reminds me of that. So I keep this for that purpose. Whether or not I will buy a full bottle, I don't think so. Okay. So again, that's Diptyque's Dosun. Then I wanted, you guys know, if you don't, check out some of my other fragrance videos. Amouage Interlude Woman was not a, a successful blind buy. I actually have it on my Macari right now trying to get rid of it because I did not like that fragrance. It just did not work for me. So, I wanted to try another Amouage and, and erring on the side of caution, right? Because I wasn't about to go down that rabbit hole again with Amouage. I tried honor woman by honor um um wash and i actually like this one um it does have a little a little bit of, i think it was two rows in it i don't know everything's smelling the same now um but i i think i it is full bottle worthy eventually but it's not something i'm running for you know hopefully somebody gifts gifts it to me for the holidays the last one for royalty sense that i just got that i really wanted to try before i went ham and got a, a full bottle um, is by Mansara, Mansara Red Tobacco. You have to like tobacco in order to like this fragrance. I like tobacco. <laughs> so this fragrance is great for, I haven't worn it. I, I tested it, but I haven't worn, worn it because it's too hot to wear it right now. Um, for me. So, um, I am holding out until the weather cools off and trying it then before I go buy a full bottle. But if you don't care about it being, you know, a powerhouse and you're in 90 degree weather, then knock yourself out. You know, it's it's all about who or your personal preference. I prefer that to be in the winter and that's when I'm going to wait to try it out. Like we actually wear it. All right, so that's all of the scents I've gotten from Royalty Scents thus far. Now that we've gotten that part out of the way, let's get into my travel sprays, right? I have a whole lot of them, so I'm just going to start picking them up. Some of them you'll tell they've been used like this one. This is Aqua Dijoa. Aqua, it used to be Aqua Dijoa, but now it's Dijoa uh, by Giorgio Armani. It is a fresh, clean scent. Um, for me, I don't need the full bottle. I just need something like this. You used to, when we were in the office, used to be in my gym bag. Just something for me to put on that's light after I do like a lunchtime workout or something like that. So I used to carry that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next one, I've been wearing this for years. It's it's a nice cute scent for errands and stuff like that. It reminds me, I think, of of like my teenage years i'm gonna be quite honest and this is ralph Lauren's romance i love this fragrance though i don't care how old you are rock it because i still love this scent. and i don't have a full bottle anymore because i i it's it's gone i i finished it and i just said okay you know what i'm gonna stick with this because this is all i really need considering how many fragrances i already have but now that i'm smelling it i'm like girl you need to get you a one ounce bottle yeah, I like that. And this is a rollerball. I'm not a big fan of rollerballs. I prefer sprays, but that's because I'm an overspray. What you gonna do? Overroll? That's why I don't like rollerballs. But anyway, this is Ralph Lauren's Romance. Next one is a true, true favorite of mine um, by Tori Birch. In the I don't even know what the name of this is. It's Tori Birch. Tori Birch. It's just the one in the orange bottle. And y'all know if you can see it. You see how low it is? And I haven't used it since before lockdown. That's how long it's been, right? So I was using this quite often. And this one is a rollable too, but I didn't care. I actually had the um, 
1.7 out. I I got a uh, I got three quarters of the way down. Then I gave it to my daughter because I got the uh, the larger 3.4, 2.5. I forgot what it is. The larger one. I, I really do like this fragrance. This is one of those that I don't think will ever leave my collection, both my travel collection and my regular collection. Next, we have Gucci's Bamboo. I didn't get a chance, as you could tell, to really wear this because I had just gotten this before lockdown. Um, another roller ball, but I have the large, the, the large scent, right? I actually had the uh, EDT. Um, I got halfway through that one and gifted it to my daughter. Um, it got the EDP in the, uh, I think it's 100 mil. Um, I do like this fragrance, and that's why I bought it in this size because this was perfect for me to travel or again go into my um my gym bag because this is a little bit of stronger scent but if you're like going to the gym in the morning you know then you need something to last you all all the rest of your work day then i would i would rock this as opposed to if i go at lunchtime and i just need something to last me until i go home then i would go with the um giorgio Armani aqua di Jour. And if I'm saying that wrong, just correct me in the comments because I know y'all are going to. Um, next one. Did I even, I wore this, yes. But not a lot. If you could tell, the line is right there. This is Citrine by Nest. I have to be in the mood for this one because it's so heavy with the citrus. Yeah, and I'm not heavy on citrus like that. But it's a very nice scent. But I have to be in the mood for it. So I have it. I'm glad I have it won't buy a big bottle but i do now if this can't like i have to check it might have a candle to it i don't mind um uh burning a candle that smells like this especially in the kitchen i do like lemon scents in the kitchen all right next up we have um woman by ralph Lauren. i bought this at Ulta one day. This is a tuberose scent. I bought this at, and I'm, I'm smelling it, and I smell tuberose. I didn't even check the, the notes, y'all. So if I'm wrong, I, correct me in the comments. But I smell tuberose. And I love tuberose. But this turns old lady on me. Like old lady tuberose. And you see, I was trying. I was trying, y'all. But I, I don't I don't know why I just don't declutter this, but who I'm gonna declutter this little thing to? I don't even know if I I don't even want to even put this on my Macari for the mere fact that who won't want it. And it's a rollerball, which means it's been rolling up against my skin. You can't even sanitize this like you can a per perfume bottle. So I just keep it there. Uh keep it in my collection. The next one I have, I love this scent. This is actually my second one. The first one spilled in my bag i don't know how because it's a roller ball this came off and it was rolling all in my my um my makeup bag at the time it, you know um and i was not happy y'all um but this is by dolce and gabbana is dolce rosa exala i'm 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 butchering that so i'm gonna put it right here like that dolce by dolce and gabbana rosa Tell me in the comments, how do you say that word? I am not bilingual. All right, next up. This one I, I got as a set. So my Monger line EDP came in a set. So I got this travel size, which I forgot about until I was doing this video and pulled it out, y'all. So um, this, this is definitely going to get use now that i know it's here i'm going to actually take it out of where i normally keep all of my my travel senses right here and my decants are somewhere else right i'm actually going to take this out and put it with the decants because i do wear monger lawn quite maybe not as often right now but it's perfect for me when it's a volleyball tournament or if it's something like um you know errands or whatever i just pull for monger line so i am going to put that over with my decant next we have an empties and i wanted to show you because i do have a, a little 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 teeny bit but this is chloe um the edp i have a 
was this one's not full because I've already started using this one. This is the only Chloe flavor fragrance I have. I love this fragrance. I am halfway finished with the bottle that I have of the large bottle. Well, larger than this. I think it's a 1.7. I am halfway through with that. And you see where I am because this is also a gem scent that I have no, no problem over spraying in the gym and walking right out the locker room because there's a gym at my job and that's what I would do. Have this spray, 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 spray oh, oh, in the shower, right? So you're in the shower, you get out the shower, you're still in the little, I don't know what to call it, um, you know, the shower area, but it's private. And you towel off, you do everything else, and then you overspray. And anybody coming af after me, they getting a whiff of whatever I'm wearing to go back to my office. But yes, I love Chloe EDP. Next, you guys saw me. If you haven't, check out one of one of the unboxings uh, or hauls, I should say, that I've done. The three. Um, Mason Margiela's uh, replica line. I got three fragrances in a set from uh, Sephora. This one here, and I wanted to try them before I actually purchased them. This one is Beach Walk. It is all kinds of coconutty. You can see I, I put a little dent in that one because I've worn it a couple times. And I like it. It's it's sandy, beachy, suntan, lotion-y vibe it is not though blended the way Soleil Blanc is by any means but I still like this one so I have a large bottle of this one I did go ahead and, and get that one then we have sailing day I like this one um this one is exactly that it's like aquatic and um, I can see myself on a catamaran, not a yacht, catamaran, and like um, go do a little scuba diving or something. And you, I th this is the vibe I get from this one. So I do have a large bottle in this one. So those moved me to get the large bottle. This one here, Lazy Sunday Morning, it's so pretty linen like like I sprayed my linens that's the that's what I sprayed with this right um and it gives you a fresh linen type smell not something that I want to wear but you know, you could probably wear it to bed yes but I have other bedtime fragrances let me know if you want that to be another video because I can do a quick video on that one but it's good to spray I'm looking over at my bed right now y'all it's good to spray on the bed right but for me wearing it out it dissipates so what's the purpose so I don't think it's full bottle worthy for me unless you want a full bottle to spray on your bed it's up to you next are two Tom Ford fragrances this one is violet velvet orchid I have three of these size this is a nice set. I can't wait to wear this I got this for $11 from this to cosmetic company store, right? That's, you hear me say CCO, that's what it is. And listen, they always have it somewhere and you can call any of them around the country and they will ship them to you. It doesn't have to be a local one or if you don't have a cosmetic company store in your area, call your next town, your next state, whatever, and ask them what type of fragrances from Tom Ford they have or even from Joe Malone because I have all my, almost all my Joe Malone fragrances came from there. Okay. I wish they would get Murren Tonka so I could get it from there instead of paying Sephora price. But oh, this is so good. So this is Velvet Orchid. I do I do like the purple in it. I don't know if you can tell. I haven't really done anything with this one because I'm waiting for it to get a little cooler. Okay, next is, is this baby right here, which is brand new. And it is a little polarizing for me. But I got it anyway. I wanted to try it out, not be such a punk. Trying it out in Nordstrom's, I was like, whoa. You know, um, but then it, it started to wheel me in a little bit. But I didn't want to get a full bottle until I knew I could commit to it. This is Black Orchid Parfum. 
um, the black orchid in the black bottle is the EDP, which is probably where I should go uh, um, get because it'll probably be a little less concentrated, excuse me, than the parfum. But anywho, yeah, it's, it's strong, y'all. It's strong. It's strong, strong. But nonetheless, I have it in my collection. I got this one from the CCO as well. Something's really in my eye. Okay. I have four little ones left. I had more than this, but I decanted them. So they're in my decant pile. But I have these little travel samples from Maison Christian um, Dior. And this one is Patchouli Imperial. And I love this one. I don't know if I want to spend $250 on a on that strong of a patchouli scent. If they came in a smaller bottle, not that four ounce bottle, sorry y'all, not the four ounce bottle, I probably would. Four ounces of a heavy patchouli scent is a bit much, right? Um, but this right here, I, I think is, is pretty perfect for, for what I need. I don't like these bottles though, because look, there's no sprayer. And you, you know, and, and to keep going like this, it's a pain. So I normally do decan them into a, a, a spray so that I can just spray it on. I ran out of them. So that's why these are still in the bottles. This one here, Boys Argent, the Argent, I don't particularly care for. So I'm not even going to decan it. I'm, I'm going to keep it in here and, and keep playing with it. But it's not for me. I actually have also a little spray sample. It's not for me though, y'all. Neither is this one. And I thought I was going to like it. And um, no. Mm -mm. This one is Gris Dior. It's not for me. There we go. Then, this last one, I almost bought a full bottle of and then I stopped myself because I said, no, this smells like something I already have. It's pretty, but then when I tried it, I had a sample and a spray. I tried it one day and after two and a half hours, I couldn't smell it. So I said, oh, hell no. And this is Sakura. not for me so other than patchouli imperial out of these four that's the only one i really care for but anyway this is my travel collection let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are do you have any of the ones that i have um let me know what your thoughts are um do do you did you not buy something that's what i want to say because you didn't like it and i have it in my collection let me know um also let me know how you guys are doing um, I love talking or, or getting in messages from everybody in the comments. Let me know what your favorite scents are to travel with or to have travel sprays. What do you guys wear to the gym? I'm interested in knowing, like I said, the office is opening back up, y'all. So I'll be going back to work and the gym is opening up as well. So I'll be doing that. Um, maybe I'll be doing that as well. Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up. And if you're new here and haven't subscribed, or if you're not new here and you still haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that red subscriber button and that notification bell. Make sure you select all so that every time I'm upload, I upload, you're notified. With all that, listen, be safe, be healthy, and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.